Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to prepare the location map of World Cup Stadium in Qatar. So I have just typed in the Google FIFA World Cup 2022 stadium location. So I'm getting this site that World Cup Stadium and I have the list of these stadiums. Okay, so all the stadium photo is given there. That is like Al Bayat Stadium. Then there is all the stadium name is given there. So this second stadium, the third stadium. So all the stadium photo is there and the name is given there. So what we need to do, we just need to copy this name and search this place in the Google. And from there, we can able to get the lat long for this place. Okay. So just copy this. Okay. After copying this, what we can able to do? Just need to go to Google. Okay and search the place so once you'll click here you'll go directly to the same location okay you will see the stadium location is here and you will see the same stadium images there so what we can able to do we just need to get the lat long from this place so for that what we can able to do we just need to add this add place mark once we'll select the add place mark will get latitude and longitude at that place. So for that, you just need to add the name and just click on OK. Okay. So according to that, we can take all the name. We can create a one folder. Okay. So just create a one folder. Okay. Provide the name there. Stadium name click on okay okay so after that this we have added here we just select and add here accordingly that you can take the second just copy and paste it here and go to search so this is the second stadium so like that we need to take the latitude and longitude for all the places. So here I have taken the lat long for all these stadiums. Okay. So if I'll right click, you will see that I have already latitude and longitude at that place. So what we'll do, we'll save this right click, save place as. We'll save it as a KML file in the where I'm working. And here is the FIFA World Cup folder I'm working and I will save here by the stadium name and KML file format. Okay, just click on the save. So after that, we'll, what we'll do, we can take this image, just right click and save image option is there. Okay, so once you'll click on the save image, you can save this image by the name. What is the name of that place? According to that, you can save the name of that place. So I have already saved this uh, stadium images. Okay. So if we'll go here and uh, if I'll show you, so this stadium I have already saved. Okay. So I have already having an images and also I'm having the now latitude and longitude. So we require a shape file. Okay. Qatar shape file we require. So for that, what we can do, we can just go to Google and search here diva gi shape file after that you will see the download data by country and select here the country name and administrative area just click on ok so download option is there once you click on the download this file will download after downloading this we just need to go to folder and we just right click and need to extract this file just select right click and extract this file after extracting it you can you will will get this shape file so we have shape file and we have stadium images and also we are having a latitude and longitude so first what we'll do we'll just go to arc map and here we'll we'll add this kml file okay this kml file will convert to shape file for that what we need to do we need to do is click on the conversion tool and 
from KML to layer. So KML to layer, just select the location or where we have saved the data, just need to go to that location. So in this, so I have this KML file, just select it, open. So after that, just output location means where I want to save it. So I will save in this folder, just need to select the folder, add, and I will save by the same name and just click on the OK. So from this, what we'll get, we'll get the location of our stadium. And that location we can replace with the image. So the stadium location is there. Now what we can able to do, we can convert this to shape file. So just select the point data, then data and export data. So where I want to save, just need to go to the location where I'm working. And uh, so just provide the name. I will save it here by Just click on the save, okay, and yes. This way we can able to convert to shape file. Now we'll add our shape file here, okay, that Qatar shape file. So this Qatar shape file I have. So just select this. So you will see the shape file and it is falling accurately the same location. So now we have images, we can replace this point data. Okay, so just right click, if you will see the attribute table, you will see the name of the stadium. So just right click, go to properties, symbology, categories, and select name here, add all values, then apply and okay. Okay, so this point data, I will replace with the image. Okay, how we can able to do that? So just go to this. 974 stadium okay so after that click on the point and so just click here and picture maker symbol okay picture maker symbol so from here we need to select the picture so i'm working in the folder i will go there then the fipa and here the stadium just open and we can increase the size of it. Okay, what are the size we want? And according to that, here also we can increase the size and just click on OK. Then OK. So see, we have changed the point data into image data. According to that, we'll do with the, all the images. So Ahmed bin Ali Stadium is there. Just select the point, then picture. Just select it, open. Just zoom, increase the size. Okay, and okay. So I'll do with the all. So I have added all the locations here. Okay. So what we can able to do, just need to, we can add the base map here. Okay. So suppose we can hollow this and we can take the Google base map here in the background. Okay. Select and add. So now we'll map layout this, just go to map layout. So I will uncheck this for a while. So 
So just zoom it and shift it to the desired location. Okay. And now you can provide the title here. Okay. Just provide the title here. What title will do? We'll provide the World Cup Stadium and paste it here. Then just click on OK. Go to right click properties, then paste it here. Then again, change the color symbology, Arial black, what are the desire you want? So, okay, apply, okay. After not arrow, I can provide legend here. Click on the insert, legend. Then next, next, next and finish okay so suppose i want into this two part we just close this and we'll do into two parts so just go to insert and legend we can convert into two parts then next 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 and finish okay so we have shown these things into two parts where you can able to zoom it and Just right click, convert to graphics, ungroup. And this I don't want, so I will delete uh, this. Then the this also I don't want. I'll just again select it all and I will group it. Or this I can rename. apply okay so just select all press shift and select all and just make a group again okay and now you can provide the scale here all the information you can provide here like if you want a scale you can provide the scale bar here So just select a kilometer, okay, apply, okay. So we have shown the scale also here. So now I will add the base map. Okay. So now if you want to show in a, this is in bigger icon, okay. If you want to show all the stadium in bigger icon, what you can able to do? We just need to go to insert. and picture option is there so we need to go to our folder a desire folder where we are working so select the this all the maps what are the maps you want to add just select it then open okay so now we can show this into large icon. If you want to show the map into large icon, you can also show. So just make it reduce. Okay. And I will uncheck this for a while. And you can shift it. And you just select it and you just reduce the size. Okay. Accordingly that you can add all the here okay so again go to pictures select this make a same size so just shift it here so let will add all the one by one
So just I will shift this for a while. If I don't want, I can remove this. Okay. So one of the most important <clears throat> thing is that you can add the latitude and longitude to this map if you want to add. So just go to properties, new, new grids, grids, label only, just one degree I will select, next, next, finish, apply. So let I will go to properties, here I will select a size, light and left I want to do vertical. So apply. If you want to increase the interval, you can reduce it. Go to properties in the interval. So let's suppose I will do 30. Apply. Okay. Okay. And just click on okay. And now you can show arrow to this stadium. Okay. The stadium which you want to show. Okay. So according to that, you need to mark an arrow. So just go to uh, draw tool if you will right click here you will get the draw tool so just click on the draw so take the line and you can draw the shape like this okay so you just see the same stadium okay and you just need to draw the line accordingly that you can change the arrow of it change symbology select the arrow okay apply okay so this way what you can able to do you just need to select the arrow and you can draw like this okay apply okay so this way very easily you can able to prepare and now you can export this map to your desired format Okay, so you do with all the way you have to do this with the all the remaining things. So accordingly that we will add all the arrows. After adding all the arrows, we can export this file to desired format. So to export this, just need to click on the file option. After click on the file option, click on the export. And you, you can save your file to your desired location, means where you want to save this file. So I'll just provide the name here. That is my stadium location final map. Okay. So check your resolution and just click on the save option. So once you click on the save option, you can just go to the file where we are working. Okay. And just search the file name which we just have saved so click on the file and you will see this way very easily we can prepare and world cup stadium location map in qatar so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment sections thank you